most people that know me probably know that I'm a vegetarian <clears throat> nowadays and have been a vegetarian, fruititarian, been one for a while. Occasionally, I'll, and the reason that I don't tell anybody about it usually, like, or talk about it too much is because I'm not a good vegetarian or fruititarian in the sense that uh, if I want like a tuna, or if I really want to eat meat, like I'll go and have a tuna sandwich. Uh, I haven't really eaten steak in years. Uh, I cut out pork out of my diet in 2001, and it sort of just progressed from there to w where we are today. Once you, once you start looking at your diet and putting your diet under the microscope, it sort of uh, can be a never-ending path, right? So, at this point in my path, I'm a fruititarian slash vegetarian. I, last time I ate meat, uh, I'd have once this year, like aside from the occasional tuna sandwich, like I said, was uh, my buddy Rick had suggested I try this Donair place. So I had a Donair. And it was good, but I don't have any intentions on becoming the meat eater. You know, as a mat, as a, <clears throat> as a staple of my diet, meat, as a staple of my diet, again, just because the Donair was good, I enjoyed it. But then, you know, you can get into, like, the ethical reasons or mass farming or whatever you want to get into, energy vibrations, frequencies, secretions of, uh, chemicals or secretions of uh, pheromones and adrenaline and all that that are into the meat and when you eat it. So, anyway, all this to say, I'm thinking the last few days I've avoided uh, dairy and that's a pretty big step uh, in your fruititarian, vegetarian walk is to uh, cut out uh, dairy. And there's a host of reasons why it would be a good idea to cut dairy out of your diet, to cut dairy and meat out of your diet. I mean, the funny thing, here's the funny thing about the whole cutting out dairy. It's just, m minute you say that, most people say, well, where are you going to get your calcium from? Here's a good question. Where do cows get their calcium from? Or are you going to lose lots of weight? What do cows eat? Cows eat grass. So where do they get their calcium from? That's all they eat. They eat grass and water. Look at horses. Horses are gigantic. What do they eat? Are they on like a low, car high carb bacon and eggs breakfast, you know, and steak for breakfast? No, they just eat hay and grass. I don't eat just hay and grass. I like fruits and vegetables. I like falafel. I like a good salad. And occasionally, like I said, I like tuna. The whole calcium thing is sort of a really funny issue. You can get calcium from so many other places aside from just dairy products. Anyway, and then if you cut out dairy out of your diet, you're avoiding all the secretions of various uh, pheromones or adrenaline or whatever when the animal is kept in a horrible environment all you uh, tree hugging animal activists out there sitting over your steak dinner tonight might, might want to give yourself a your, give your head a scratch I mean the meat that you're eating not only unless it's like organic and you know the guy who slaughtered it then it was probably kept in some of the worst conditions possible, slaughtered in an inhumane fashion, which caused it to release all this adrenaline and secretions of uh, various chemicals into its body that you're now consuming. And uh, you can look at our continent and see the effects of the unhealthy diet. High rates of cancer, high rates of obesity, and all sorts of 
problems. Uh, people just can't seem to be centered and all sorts of different problems. But anyway, I'm not trying to gross people out with the uh, conditions of most slaughterhouses, but I worked at a chicken slaughterhouse years ago, maybe a decade ago, for I think one day and then I quit. I don't know how people do it. You have to have either uh, no empathy in your life or in your heart, and you have to be okay with seeing other people do horrible things to animals. And I'm not an animal rights activist or anything like that, but uh, at the same time, I can't stand idly by and watch guys throw little chicks up against a wall or step on them or get their beaks torn off or use a pneumatic drill to rip out the guts of a half-dead uh, chicken on a conveyor belt one after the other all day, eight hours a day. I just can't do it. Uh, and so, I don't even know why I did that job for a day. I definitely, there's no point in it. Anyway, so I don't obviously do that anymore. But, uh, yeah. So a big step in vegetarian, fruititarian is uh, cutting dairy out. And uh, a lot of the reasons I listed above, inhumane conditions, uh, you know, the types of... Uh, types of uh, chemicals and and uh, poisons that and uh, like mucus type stuff that this these cows are releasing while they're hooked up to these machines and kept in bad conditions why do you want to consume that it's not like a Joe Blow backyard here's my cow you know who roams free all day that's not where you're getting your milk from that's not where the bulk of us are getting our milk from and even if that was the case which it's not in my life. I don't know if I still like or enjoy milk because I, I'm personally somebody who's never really been fond of milk anyway. But uh, I do eat cheese and have eaten cheese. I enjoy cheese on my salads, like feta cheese or whatever. So I'm not a big cheese eater, but um, <clears throat> the staple of my diet for the last two years has been fruits and vegetables, really. Fruits, vegetables, nuts. With a side of salmon or tuna. If I've eaten meat over the last three or four years, it's been salmon or tuna. And now I'm, I'm thinking I might even cut the salmon and the tuna out. But uh, I still haven't really uh, sussed all that out. But I do know that... Uh, you look at slaughterhouse conditions and those animals are t in terror. They are petrified. And you can't tell me that they're not releasing adrenaline in their body. I've seen videos of, uh, you know, cows half dead, and you can go on YouTube and see this, cows half dead, strung up by their feet, and just freaking out. And imagine, you're eating that meat. Not only are you endorsing and supporting, silently supporting the whole industry there, but you're uh, consuming on a vibrational level this meat that was terrorized. Like, are you into sacrificing things? I don't know. Are you into... Maybe that's your thing. If you're on a different vibrational level or if you're on a different frequency, then maybe you'd like that. I'm just not into it anymore. I just, I'm changing. You know? Times are changing. The earth is changing. I'm changing. So... I felt like telling you, but uh, I don't expect anybody watching this to uh, agree or disagree with me or, you know, uh, I don't expect anybody to uh, change their life radically because of things that I do. Yeah. But uh, that's just how it is, how I feel. I'm changing. 